Imagine having wealth beyond your wildest dreams. Now add fame to your fortune, movie star glamour, and a good deal of business success, and you're basically living Lisa Vanderpump's life. Of course, her Amex swiping Bentley driving ways are featured in not one, but two reality shows. And tonight, you can add a third, Dancing with the Stars. But how did she become one of the busiest women in showbiz? As I found out, there's much more to Vanderpump than what we see in primetime. Opulent doesn't space. begin to describe Lisa Vanderpump's space. lifestyle. I should stay in this bed and just look out at that, that view, view all day. The, She's been extraordinarily rich for a very long time. Well, these I don't think <laughs> I would wear, but what a great piece of art. They were a gift. These look are gorgeous. Those. But it was only after she crossed swords with other wealthy real housewives of Beverly Hills that Vanderpump became both rich and famous. You knew I was very sensitive about not you having defended me in okay, the past. But however, you also hold a grudge. Explain to somebody who might think those housewives or those reality show stars, they just want to be famous. Well, of course. I mean, I would be lying if I didn't say that the celebrity aspect of it isn't beneficial. I'm the same person that I was three years ago before I opened my life. And it's just a plethora of opportunities. For instance, I've written a book that I'd kind of written before I had a book offer. It's the same book I could have written two or three years ago, but nobody would have bought it. She's a devoted wife and mother of two, who's 52 and proud of it. Elegant and dignified. Now yeah. this is a one of a kind. I know, I shouldn't Dad. wear it really, should No, I? you really shouldn't. Come on, we're gonna dance. Okay, go. So some might wonder, why strip down to a leotard and jump at the chance to be on ABC's Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> Vanderpump has a simple answer. I just thought, wow, it's such a challenge. I mean, there are moments since we started in the last nine days that I thought, have I lost my mind? Her professional partner is a newcomer to the dancing cast, Russian-born dancer Gleb Sevchenko, who's more than 20 years her junior. She danced like 30 years ago and in school, right? She has no dance experience. She's never done the ballroom dancing. It's a little bit challenging for her. But we're just taking it step by step and trying to improve. You know, I've been stretched in places that I didn't know existed. <laughs> <laughs> he is gorgeous and he's kind and he's sweet and he's a bit mean sometimes yeah. too. Yeah. Here I go. Here we go. Lev is the straightest, hottest, cutest thing on this planet. That's not helping me. No, it's not helping you. And are you feeling like a little uh, Frisky during the You mean the like a cougar juju? Is you... that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's her witty, often self-deprecating humor that may have boosted her popularity on Housewives. I think sometimes you see a frame and you think, oh, I look good there. But for the most part, I'm always looking thinking, oh, my hair's a mess, but it's my reality. Trust me, a lot of the show, I'm a hot mess. Welcome to Villa Blanca. Nice. But it's her shrewd business savvy as owner of eateries like Villa Blanca. I love that. It's hot. Is that on stage? Nice and fresh, yes, it is. Huh? That's it's led to yet another golden opportunity as a TV direction. producer. It takes a lot to get me pissed off, and I'm really pissed off right now. She cast her restaurant staff of young, volatile characters in another reality show aptly titled Vanderpump Rules. Even though you know I do not support intercompany dating, if you're all sleeping together, what am I going to do? Fire the whole company? You're kind of like the den mother of a group of very sexed up young people. I knew this group of kids, you know, following their lives because I saw it on a daily basis would be fascinating television. What tactics do you employ to get them to behave? Well, see this foot? It really lands firmly up their behinds on many occasions. Yeah, I'm passionate about design. She's a hard-charging, hard-working girl, even though she could easily afford to just lounge around, doting on her precious dog, Jiggy. We yeah. don't even love him, do we? We worship you. I know you don't like this, but I'm doing it for me. Mwah. But there's also a loving wife of 30 years, hidden under all that glamorous hair and makeup. And you talk a lot about, you know, your sexless marriage. <laughs> That's not all true, though. And yet, I, I suspect it's not. You know, you've been married for 30 years. Yes. What's the secret? I think it's kind of a British humor to deflect the kind of questions about our sex life. But clearly, my husband would want it 10 times more than he's getting it. <laughs> what man wouldn't, though? Exactly. <laughs> this is all smoke and mirrors, Juju. Trust me. <laughs> it all comes off. He actually goes out, he walks the dog, he comes back, and I've got my glass on, my computer, my hair in a bun and cream on my face, and he's like, what happened? I only walked the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that this hasn't happened in my life when the children were younger, because 
it, it, you know, would have been much more difficult with a late night business, doing this and the children. Vanderpump says she put raising her two kids ahead of her early ambitions in show business. I think I made the choice to kind of give it up before it gave me up, you know. I'd done things earlier on in my career. That's her in the campy 80s classic Poison Arrow by ABC. And who could forget her big break on Baywatch nights? This is my turf, mister, and I want you out. It was a fun Somehow thing to do, but, you know, I don't think that's going to be on my epitaph. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, Vanderpump says the meaningful times in her life have been raising her daughter Pandora and her son Max. How do you motivate kids when they grow up in a wealthy environment? Well, don't give them money. I think it's simple as that. You know, they have to work and then they'll be rewarded. Mm -hmm. I think if you spoil them, it's simple. They end up spoiled. Right. Pandora still waits tables in my restaurant. She has created her own business. She waited tables all the way through school. My son is passionate about playing the guitar, but he waits tables. Reality star Lisa Vanderpump and Vlad Sevchenko. Vanderpump seems like she has it all figured out. When it comes to dancing in front of millions of people, she figures there's no way she can lose. I have no idea whether I'll just forget the routine, freeze, fall on my ass. I, I have no idea. But you know what? If it all goes horribly wrong, which it possibly might, uh, you know, I'm a great businesswoman. I've been a great wife, good mother, and lousy dancer.